Hey guys, it's Sophie, and today I'm going to be filming my August TBR. So this is likely going to be a sort of half TBR, um, because I am actually kind of running out of books, um, but I seem to be sort of supplementing it with the library and just finishing up those last few books on my TBR really. So likely I'll do this TBR now, and I might do a mid-month one, it depends how much I read, but I've not got too many books to show you this time. So the first book that I'm currently reading is Horror Store. Um, this is a book about a sort of Ikea-like chain of furniture retailers uh, and strange things start happening in the night and they have to start investigating them. Um, I'm not too far in but I'm really liking it so far uh, so I think I'll probably flip through this one in the next few days. And the next one I want to get to is Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. I bought this one either last month or the month before but didn't read any Murakami in the month of July so just want to get back on the bandwagon and keep going with them. And then next I have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This one was kindly sent to me by Karis on reading um, in one of her book on hauls so she I think she got the hardcover so Kind of very kindly sent me the paperback um, and I believe this is a YA kind of dystopian-esque novel um, but we'll see, I know it's part of a series and some people seem to really like it, some people seem to hate it but let's see how it goes, I think it's going to be fun. And then the next book is White Noise by Don DeLilio. So this is one I've pulled a few times from my TBR now and haven't gotten around to and to be honest a lot of them will be because we are getting to the end so they are the ones I've sort of gone oh I didn't have time for. Um, and this is about a husband and a wife, um, and I believe they're sort of, they lose everything in the relationship bar fights about the element of which one's going to die first. Um, and I think the characters in it are either university professors or work in, sort of in the education industry. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. It's probably the last, apart from the one next one, we have like difficult book I have left to read. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then we have The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. Um, you guys know I need to read this, it's just that it's big, I've spoken about this a lot on my channel, um, so hopefully I will get to this one this month. That's one of the reasons why it's so short, the TBR, is I thought it might pressure me to get some of this actually read, um, and what I think I'm probably going to do is each time I finish a book I will say you have to read at least 100 pages of the luminaries, and hopefully I'll get into the story and just go with it and run with it. Um, but it should make me read some of it. At the minute I've just sort of got a bit of a mental block with it I think. And then the last book that's on my list is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, in my mind, this and The Magicians are linked. Um, it might be just because I left them until later, but I really enjoyed The Magicians, so I have sort of quite high hopes for Water for Elephants now. Um, and I know some people have said they didn't like it or didn't like the movie, um, but some people have said they really did, so it's going to be one that I'm quite excited to explore for myself. Um, and it is, I believe, about people who are living in a circus um, and sort of the relationships between two people in that circus. I'm sure we'll see soon. Okay, so this is my little August TBR. Um, as I said, I may well add more to it mid-month, because there's only actually six books there. Um, but one of them is The Luminaries, so let's see if maybe that makes me read it. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you ever so soon. Bye-bye.